Uh, Flatzoid F-E. Flatzoid. 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 Flatzoid F-E. Um, Flatzoid F-E. Uh, Flatzoid is found. Flatzoid. Flatzoid. Um, I don't have the same level of scientific understanding as Flatzoid. I think that's uh, about right. Flatzoid's YouTube channel. Subscribe today. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration as I see Tides is a big... Uh, topic at the moment with uh, anti-flat earthers and glow believers. Uh, I'm going to be showing thermohaline currents which is considered to be the ocean's conveyor belts. Yeah I've just got a fish tank with some water. I've put some red food coloring in now and that uh, jar in the back there I'm going to add some hot water shortly. The thing is, the red dye is just representing the hot current. It is denser than the water it is in, so it has sunk. Now when I'm adding the hot water to the jar to heat that area up, you will see that it will start to rise and want to go to the opposite side where it is a colder area, because always hot to cold. Now, you must remember when something gets hotter, it is less dense, than when it's colder well this is according to with water especially when it comes to salt water it becomes more saline yeah I added an ice pack to uh, re represent the polar ice caps I'm throwing in some um, vanilla essence because I didn't have another color food dye but it's fine it it gives a a representation of what's going on obviously that cold uh, dye is much denser than the water as well but surely surely soon enough you'll start to see the effect taking place remember on the left it's the hot the heat so let's say where the Sun is warming up the water throughout the day and the heat is seeking its equilibrium so it's moving to the colder points so the cold water will push down to the to the surface as the heat will push upwards and towards the cold there you already see how it's making a type of arc with that red dye which is representing the the hot air as that cold um, is that cold water is forcing itself underneath that hot water understand so it is pushing upwards it's pushing it up and thus it's creating the thermohalin currents aka the conveyor the oceans conveyor belt now without this happening the oceans would not be experiencing any tides you need this for the bottom uh, portions of the ocean to move while the wind helps with the top portions of the of the um, oceans to move and the topography with the land masses everywhere. It's just got to do with hydrostatic equilibrium. If you understand heat seeks cold, hot seeks cold, it's just an equilibrium process. So it's going through a cycle and this is why you have tides. It's got nothing to do with the moon as you have places that has full, ti full tides without a moon present. And then you have places that don't even have a tide when it is present. You have lakes that don't have it, then you have lakes that do have it. It's all just got to do with the cycles. AKA no gravitational pull whatsoever. That is just a fundamental belief. So I challenge everybody that believes it's the moon's gravitational pull to please go and find me one scientific hypothesis and experiment validating gravity exists. This challenge I've asked for years now and have not had one, one globe defender providing me with a hypothesis, a scientific hypothesis, an experiment from anywhere showing gravity exists. Okay? Thank you for watching. And remember, we live on a stationary horizontal plane. God bless.